welcome to round three of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of May 4th. I'm Terry Morrow, and I'm here with Nicole Eridix. Hello. And Catherine Haleko. Hello. We're moms of teens and young adults, and when it comes to parenting, we've been there, done that, bought the t-shirt. But we're still waiting for that day when we'll reach the finish line and have no further need to lay down in a dark room with a wet rag over our eyes, worrying about something or other. Wednesday is complaint day here on Parenting Roundabout, and today we have some complaints about household stuff that keeps breaking. What gives with this? You know, I a friend of mine on Facebook mentioned that like all of her kitchen appliances have broken down during this pandemic time. Oh yeah. And then uh, I think Nicole, did you mention that you had a bunch of stuff breaking and oh, and it's just nonstop. <laughs> I started thinking about my house, and you know, the top rack of our dishwasher broke, so that you have to just jam it in to use the rest of the dishwasher, and then wash the glasses by hand, which has resulted in the breakage of my coveted parenting roundabout mug. Oh no. Uh, and uh then the we had a had a light. We have like one of those just a bulb you screw into the ceiling in our laundry room mm-hmm. and it just spontaneously exploded into little shards of glass all over the place. Just decided it didn't want to live anymore, I guess. And now mm-hmm. one of our smoke alarms that we put batteries in right before this all started is now giving random warnings that it's out of batteries. You know, I have a, it's, it's a nest smoke alarm and it's connected to an app on my phone. So the phone starts saying needs new batteries, needs new batteries. And we'll just put them in. And then finally the thing started chirping. So my husband took it down to put new batteries in and it stopped chirping. And my app went back to everything's good. (laughs) So we put it back up and sure enough this morning, it's again saying batteries low, batteries low. So that once, I mean, all three smoke alarms in the house got batteries the same day. That's the only one. So mm. the mm. the one in the hallway outside my bedroom, the one that the chirping will be the loudest and most disruptive, is having a nervous breakdown of some sort. <laughs> so those are relatively minor. You know, they still – the things still function. They've I mean, we put a new light bulb in and we making do with the dishwasher and the smoke alarm. Apparently, all we have to do is just take it down and put it back up. But it's like – the humans are holding it together, but the things that the humans live with are manifesting <laughs> their true their broken stress. nature. <laughs> they're, they're, they're reacting for us. They're in, soaking in all of our distress and oh, breaking yes. down. So what has broken in your house, Nicole? Oh, where should I start? <laughs> because not only do we have uh, material items breaking down, we've also got humans breaking down as well. Oh, and, oh and animals. <laughs> Well, I think this episode is the material item <laughs> episode. We'll um, get to the human episode later. Yeah. Uh, so it started with our gas fireplace. So that went out literally the first night of quarantine. So, and not that we use it a lot here in Southern California, uh-huh. <laughs> but it was providing a nice ambiance at the uh, uh-huh. the start of March with all the rainy, dreary <laughs> weather that we get for three days here. Uh-huh. <laughs> And then our microwave um, kind of did a little mini blow up. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Well, that's an important And now thing. it's absolutely, there's just like zero activity going on. Oh, dear. With it. So that happened. And then our mixer, our KitchenAid mixer stopped oh, no. working. <laughs> that was. <laughs> oh, my daughter has been baking pretty much every day. So yeah. that would be a big problem for that her. was a huge deal I, because i can send my some... completely idle and dust covered one to either of you if you need it <laughs> i'm not doing the baking and but my husband was planning to make bread and of course he Aww. uh we pulled it out and it wasn't working so it wasn't like it Aww. stopped in the middle of uh-huh. um an activity it just but it he work. actually went on youtube and got it to work uh, Ooh, good and wow. yeah and then um our our coffee maker went on the blitz this past week and it wasn't working. And so, and we were just in panic mode because, um, you know, we can't be without a coffee maker and right. it really wasn't in our budget to go out and spend, uh, cause we have a Keurig. So mm-hmm. it's not just like, you know, those are expensive little things. Yeah. <laughs> so we hadn't really accounted for that. But anyway, mm-hmm. once again, I got on YouTube this time and had a yeah. look around to see how I could fix it. And I did. 
So wow. that's working. But it's like all this unnecessary time and energy spent on dealing yeah. with these appliances. Like I could be focused on writing my book, for example. <laughs> that's Would not you, happening. Do you appreciate the appliance work for distracting you from writing your book? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not. No, 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 no. I, I need, yeah, no, I, that stuff I do not, I do not appreciate because <laughs> yeah. that's just stressful. It's like, <laughs> if this doesn't get working, I'm not going to get my coffee. And like, I mean, we would go out and get, we, we would go out and get a coffee maker, but it's just like, oh my gosh, here goes, you know, more money out the door for an appliance yeah. or a broken item or something, but. My coffee maker yeah. was acting weird for a while, but it seems to have settled down. So, because I had had so far as put uh, a new coffee maker in my uh, shopping cart on Amazon, and then I uh. it, I left it there because it started working again. But I I went and tried to help with the dishwasher top rack for about ten minutes, and then it was like I can't handle the stress of this. This is too much. <laughs> <laughs> I have work to do. Uh, but I should maybe I should tell my daughter to go on YouTube and see if she can find out how to fix it. Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah. I mean, both my husband and I found. I mean, we had to try a few different things. We had to go through a few different videos to try different things, and then yeah. eventually we found a video that showed us the solution to our specific problem. Wow. So it was actually great because we saved money on buying a new KitchenAid, yeah, mixer, and then a Keurig coffee maker. So Yeah. It's like in our I, case, we have to get somebody out to fix the dishwasher. And it's like, even if we could get somebody, I don't think we want somebody in our house. Right. Uh, so it's, you know, it's hard when it's a major thing that you can't really just, because I mean, even if we wanted to order a new dishwasher, somebody has to come in and install it. So um, and we just, it's just a year old, dang it. And I think it's something came unglued, which means it was cheaply made in the first place, though it was not cheaply sold. So, yeah. Wow. What's your, what's happening at your house, Catherine? Things are generally functioning, uh, knock on wood. Um, yeah. <laughs> we had the I issue. don't want to jinx you. I know. Yes. <laughs> well, you remember we had the issue with our washing machine. Um, oh, yeah. Where we had to get a new one and it was very hard to find one that fit because of the way we have it in a built-in cabinet in our kitchen. Mm -hmm. And so we found one and it got delivered, I think, on the last day oh, wow. before the shelter in place <laughs> happened. Um, oh, so man. that's good news. But yeah. then now we just found out the, the problem is that it's it's tall or short enough to fit in this little space where it has to go. But mm -hmm. guess what? It's deeper. It's sticking out now. Huh. So it's deeper than the old one. Uh-oh. <laughs> and f the contractor finally, because, you know, we have a contractor who has to mm -hmm. help us with all this because it's built in. And he stopped by the other day and I talked to him from across the room and um, <laughs> he is concerned that there is no way that we're going to be able to put a door back on in front oh, of shoot. <laughs> So now mm. we may be stuck with um, just looking at it, you know, yeah, I mean, like you do for your refrigerator and your stove and right. stuff. So not right. the worst thing. it's not the worst thing, but <sighs> frustrating because presumably you asked somebody to find a washing machine that would fit. Yeah, I mean we were we were paying more attention to the height than to the depth. Oh, so that shoot. may have been Yikes. overlooked by the person who actually made the purchase, which Yikes. was not me. So yeah. hmm. <laughs> But it was yeah. extremely hard to find one that fit in terms right. of height. So we kinda had to take what we could get, to be honest. Yeah, that's true. So, shoot. Yeah, so that's that our our little tale of woe. It's not. <laughs> it's not too bad. Um, it definitely could be worse, yeah. and I hope it does yeah. not get worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's good. If you if that's the only problem you've had, and that slightly predates the stay at home time. Right. Your your material objects are holding up well. Yes, you're doing well. It's just my yeah. my teeth that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. As Nicole mentioned, you know, the humans are falling yeah. apart. Yeah. Yeah. And the animals. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. They are 
our animals don't know it yet, but grooming is back. So oh. they're <laughs> going to be finding that out real soon. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> then they will come home and break things. You're right. <laughs> so it's just an overall bad time for for objects, inanimate objects. Yes. <laughs> yes. They're getting, you know, more use possibly than yeah. they are accustomed to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And- or just, just for whatever attention. reason, just want to make our lives even more challenging or exciting. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Depends on your perspective. <laughs> it's challenging enough things. Hold it together. <laughs> we can't get our usual help for you now. No. It's the ultimate just... test of strength. <laughs> 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 oh, well, so I guess would that be it for today's round three? Yes. Let's let's stop while everything is still working. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow when we'll talk about ways to celebrate a virtual graduation and then come back on Friday to see what we've come up with for our Roundabout Roundup picks for this week and find all our episodes at ParentingRoundabout.com. Talk back in the comments there, on our Facebook page, or on Twitter where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. <laughs> <laughs>